Education is not preparation for life. Education is life itself. It is through education that you can change the face of the world. The goal of education is Mabuhay, Shajang Hao, Shaguhao. I am a Dilipsai Junior from the Pearl of Arlesis, Magdalao, Philippines. I am a graduate student of Nebelecos Bacolod Medical School at the University of Negros Occidental, Nebelecos. I am residing in Bacolod City, known to be the City of Smiles, and I am currently teaching in Bacolod Taekwondo High School, the premier Chinese school in our city. I am happy and pleased to be part of this important gathering the International Verbal Conference on the Development of Education 2021. My study is so relevant to their field, creating responses and migrating to the new normal environment. Today, we are in the era of massive growth of online learning that is so transforming in the field of education. It is a honor to send you, dear ladies and gentlemen, and distinguished partner, fellow researchers, my humble labor of health. An exploratory study of the lived experiences of social science teachers in Chinese School of Online Education. Online education is a rapidly growing phenomenon for teachers. With the outbreak of COVID-19, there were changes in our societies all over the world, and a forcible shift in the medium of teaching and learning is inevitable. Like many educational institutions around the world, a regular start in the first semester of the twenty will be turned into something extraordinary. As the base around the quality of online versus face-to-face -face teaching and learning have swayed back and forth over many years, a tiny virus so small we can see even came along in the post-COVID-19 pandemic, forcing entire school systems into lockdown situation constrained to online teaching and learning only, where the teachers have to live and reflect the situation. We have seen an enormous growth in the number and scope of online classes in the academy. In fact, explosive growth of online education is transforming education. It has been a challenging period of time for all of us, teachers, all around the world, and in the Philippines as well. Social science teachers, in particular, are not spared by this global crisis we are currently facing. But in this crisis, we have to offer a way out, a solution to these new challenges that appear before we may be, and a unique opportunity to look at things from a brighter perspective. Academic researchers, within academic journals, join in the fight. We each personally heard and saw stories of success in responding to the pandemic and emergency online instruction at the pre service and the in service teacher professional development. However, these stories were not heard. It is in this slide that the researcher intends to explore the deep experiences of the social science teachers in China School of Online Education in this time of COVID 19 pandemic. The paper intended to explore the social science teachers' lived experiences in online education of Chinese school in the time of COVID 19 pandemic with the following questions. What are the experiences of social science teachers in online education? How did teachers manage to facilitate online classes? This qualitative study, or qualitative study utilized the phenomenological approach. To explore the deep experiences of social science teachers determined using purposive science. The participants were chosen to base the first criteria, the main to the five criteria, and their teachers to five years of market service and have taken distance learning training and could articulate their experiences with them. They know what they collected from the participants using an in-depth semi-structured interview. The in-depth interviews were conducted face-to-face -face among selected participants, and the researcher prepared a guide for the interview protocol. Let me explain the purpose of the research before the interview. The responses were electronically recorded, and some important points were written down. During the interview, 
participants will advise that they could state their responses in the language in a language they are comfortable with to express their thoughts and feelings. The researcher expresses his attitude of conversation to the interviewees for their generous participation in this academic endeavor. And then the researcher immediately checked, reviewed, and transcribed the data in preparation for analysis. He turns the textual analysis using Richman's thesis to call out the big experiences of teachers in online education, namely coding, categorizing, and conceptualizing. The goal of the paper is to explore the experiences of social science teachers in online education. To facilitate the discussion, this section has identified two main themes, mainly challenging and rewarding. Each theme has three sub themes, which will specifically describe the lived experiences of the participants. Theme number one teaching online faces a lot of challenges. Most of the participants believe that online education is a challenging task. It poses a lot of efforts and trainings to equip teachers to this new modality of learning. Amid coronavirus pandemic, many teachers were taught to Bible their instruction online. The shift to online education is considered a new normal and it, it is relatively challenging for it requires lots of patience, diligence, technical trainings, and comprehensive planning in educational strategy. For sub theme 1.1 in the area of personal, the participants share the same sentence that online education is a surprising breakthrough in the learning process in an expert. The devastation situation worldwide, education is one of the most effective areas in being grown in the desperate coronavirus. The teachers believe their anxiety came from being forced to teach their students from whom to make the best of a bad situation. Many of them were worried and anxious because it is new. They are afraid to make mistakes in the new. Last comment. Surprisingly, one participant mentioned that her stress came from the complaints of the areas. One participant said teaching in the midst of the pandemic is not easy because it's my first time to teach online. One also said online teaching is not just difficult for us, but can be considered a challenging one. For some thing 1.2 in the area of technical, it is also important to remember that most teachers are not digital natives or dig digitally inclined, and many of them are not that efficient when it comes to using and working with a familiar software. The initial onboarding sentiments of the teachers are their capabilities and skills in handling the classic using gadgets, learning management system, or LMS in the internet. Most of the participants were struggling because this is the first time they facilitated the class online, and some of them are considered tenured when they are not that tenured. However, teachers are thankful because the school assigns to staff to help them when they encounter technical problems. We also explored technical instructions from the teacher. One side may find it difficult to facilitate sometimes, especially if there are technical problems. For some thing 1.3 in the area of pedagogy guide, the common struggles of teachers in terms of delivering the lessons online were the lack of personal connection with the students, their ability to communicate and deliver the appropriate lesson effectively. The participants agree that they have to be creative to plan the lesson with part style of teaching. Interactive elements, accessible learning materials or resources, and appropriate assessment. Some teachers diligently guided and supported the students in doing the task from start to finish. This is one of the primary struggles of teachers in an online education. They said, I have to be creative in making my online materials so that students will not get bored. One said also, it is a challenge to think interactive pedagogy to facilitate the class well because it's an online class. Theme number two, online education is also a rewarding class. The most satisfying experience of a teacher 
in the learning process is the joy of teaching and transforming lives. Most participants in this study were able to identify the challenges in online education, but at the same time, grateful because more than the struggles, they found the job's location and more rewarding at the same time. Although the online teaching experiences of the teachers were difficult and were intensive, most of them acknowledged that the teaching ministry gave them some type of satisfaction. For some thing number 2.1, support of the administration, two participants shared the same ideas and experiences on the support and guidance of the administration. Some participants are grateful for the kindness and compassion of the bosses in school because they provide trainings, conferences, reasonable schedules, and accessibility of online learning materials to equip teachers in the new normal of education. The entire participants considered their administrators as gifts during this pandemic crisis. Three or four participants have mentioned, I am so grateful to our school administrators because they did not abandon us during this pandemic. The school equipped us the knowledge about what to do during online class and how to use our computer laptop in the class. For something 2.2, teachers collaborative efforts. The participants said that they found a solace from their co-workers in times of difficulty in handling online classes. The participants were so grateful to their co-teachers for helping them all the time they needed. Some participants mentioned that they also volunteered to assist their colleagues and the action was so satisfying and rewarding. One said, I am blessed to have colleagues who are so supportive and helpful to assist in my difficulties in online classes. Some said, I admitted I am not computer literate, but I asked help from my colleagues and they helped me. For self team 2.3, positive students' feedback. Student feedbacks are more important than anybody else reiterated by the participants. They share the same insights that students, that students appreciating their efforts is the most rewarding feeling of all. Cliché as it may sound, the words thank you from the students after the online classes, the participants still see it as the most satisfying words. Some are so happy to know that the students were so attentive in class and did their last well. Some mentioned, uh, I am happy to hear students thanking you after the online class, saying thank you mom. And also, I feel satisfied after guiding students to do their online class. The results of the study yielded many significant insights about the lived experiences of social science teachers in the online education. What is the essence of the study? The lived experiences of social science teachers in online education are both challenging and rewarding. The challenges have seen more in personal, technical, and pedagogical areas of online education. The teachers might find online teaching as a challenging task, but at the same time, find comfort and solace in the supports of the administrators and for the fellow teachers. The most rewarding element of the teacher's experience is the student's positive feedback. Teachers describing engaged and actively involved help them gradually embrace the new normal mode of celebrating learning. This phenomenological study implies that online education is both challenging and rewarding. This study can help social science teachers in head gain instructional perspective on online education and also recognize that although it may require enough time for developing, designing, planning, uh, preparation of online instruction initially, it can also be a rewarding experience. Also, this study can help teachers reassess their roles in life on the type of teaching practices that one experiences while teaching online. Teachers need to enhance more their skills through trainings and conferences in handling online classes, especially in the areas of technical and pedagogical. This also implies the need for teachers for self-reflection and sessions to improve their mental health. Generally, the lived experiences of social science teachers in online education are both challenging and rewarding. Recognizing teachers' challenges in online classes in the aspects of personal, 
technical and pedagogical, the teachers found the job rewarding because of the support of the administrators, for teachers, and students' positive feedback. This phenomenon calls members of stakeholders to work harder and explore different styles of online learning activities so that they can still deliver quality Chinese education in the country. Finally, the unfolding online teaching challenges confronted by school heads, teachers, and students will make them resilient to adopt and embrace virtual education. Here are my references. For all the unprecedented challenges that 2020 brought, there were all pockets of ingenuity and innovation. How will we continue to grow and evolve beyond these challenges we're facing? Will we as educators treat the past year as a brief interruption and retreat back to our traditional learning models? Or will we instead take a hard look and honestly examine what has worked and what has not? To propel this system, move forward and create indubitable responses in migrating to the new normal environment. My research journey brought so much opportunities to look at the world in silver linings that despite the adversities, we can still be relevant and productive in our chosen field of mission, the Ministry of Education. My utmost gratitude to all of you, dear people of God, mentors of research, and organizers of this conference, IBCDE 2021. Sese, madawagin ang salamat sa inyo na